what's going on guys? James from The Brewkey here. We're gonna do a smoked meatloaf today and uh, not just any smoked meatloaf, we're doing a barbecue smoked meat meatloaf. So it's a little different than, you know, the old tomato paste, typical traditional meatloaf you do in the oven. And I've got two pounds of ground beef, two eggs, half a cup of finely chopped onion, a cup of breadcrumbs. I'm using Italian breadcrumbs because I really like the way the oregano in the Italian breadcrumbs adds to the flavor. And some stuff I've been buying for a little bit now, uh, Right Rub All Purpose Seasoning. This stuff is great on all kinds of things. It works really well on ground beef and it works excellent on pork. So I'm putting this in it. I'm gonna put two tablespoons of this in it. And I'm gonna sauce it up with Right Barbecue Peach Chipotle Barbecue Sauce. This stuff right here, my friends, is so good, man. And during this cook, you'll see uh, uh, how it turns out. You won't be able to taste it, of course, but you'll see what the product looks like. This is great barbecue sauce. And I'll put the link for that down below so you guys can go and check it out. Maybe order some and try it out. I'll tell you what, once you buy it, you're going to be addicted. No lie. So let's get to putting this meatloaf together. All right, guys, first thing I want to do is I want to put a couple tablespoons of this um, right rub seasoning on the beef. Next, I'm going to put my breadcrumbs in. Finely chopped onion. And we need to put two eggs in there. All right. Gloves are good for this. As you can see, I'm wearing gloves. So let's get in and make a mess here. Just kind of mix it up real good. And this is going to, you want to mix this up for a little bit so you know it's well blended together. I just kind of do like a little twist effect with my hands here and then I just kind of combine it together and just mix it together like you would a dough. Okay guys, you can see we have a nice blended beef meatloaf batch here. So what you also need is a bread tin. Now we're not going to cook in the bread tin, we're just using the bread tin for molding. So simply take your beef out of your bowl. And we're gonna pack it in the bread tin. Just pack it in there, as flat as you can, all the way across. Just kinda even, make it even all the way across the van. Just spread it out. There you go. Nice and compacted in the bread pan. Now what I want to do is saran wrap this, put it in the fridge, you know, until I'm ready to cook it. It'll set up real nice in this pan. And if you're going to cook it sooner and you need it sooner, um, I recommend that you put it in the freezer for maybe 30 minutes. That way it sets up real nice and firm. That way it doesn't fall apart on you on the grill. And uh, you'll have a nice formed meatloaf for your family. So when this is ready, We'll go out, fire up the Traeger, and get this bad boy on there. All right, guys, it's time to get the Traeger fired up. I've already cleaned her up some from the last cook. We're gonna set it to smoke. And uh, we're gonna let her warm up. Today, I am using Traeger's Mesquite Pecan and oak blend. It's actually a mesquite. It's an oak mesquite pecan blend. And um, I've already filled the pellet hopper up with it. Should be pretty good considering that uh, beef and mesquite go hand in hand very well. So we're going to wait until we get some smoke billowing out of this. Then I'm going to close the lid, dial it to 225. And then once we are registering close to 225 on the temperature readout, we will put our meatloaf on. So let's uh, 
let it do its thing. All right, we are rolling smoke here. So let's go ahead and dial it up to 225. And I'm gonna go ahead and close the lid here. And we will get back to this when we are putting the meatloaf on. All right, guys, one thing I did not mention is that this particular model of Traeger grill uh, comes with two probe inputs. So you can actually put two meat probes in here and you can monitor by toggling here with this button. Toggle between the tr probes and uh, see what your current meat temp is at. I'm using a remote thermometer, so I'm not really concerned about using that feature on the Traeger today. In future cooks, I will definitely probably use that. Um, but right now, I am just going to use my handy dandy Weber kitchen thermometer. I've been using this thing for a really long time, guys. People ask me all the time, what do I use? I use this Weber eye grill. Um, this particular model sells for about $49 on Amazon when it's on sale, normally $99. Um, it does feature two inputs. You can do two meat probe inputs, two ambience, or you can do an ambient and a meat probe. I uh, typically use an ambient and a meat probe because I'm usually only smoking one meat. But uh, for this cook, I'm only going to just use the meat probe. I don't really need the ambient for this. This isn't a long cook. This is probably going to only take about an hour or so to smoke and cook and be ready for dinner. So I just want to show you guys, if you want a cheap thermometer, this one works very well. Um, I have had zero instances of issues with it. And uh, it works with your iPhone or your Android phone. You just connect to it via Bluetooth and you're all set. I have recommended it to other people and uh, they all seem to be pretty happy with it so far. So once we are at temp, which we're very close to being at temp, we will throw the meatloaf on. So bear with me. All right, guys, here's our meatloaf. I've had it saran wrapped and had it in the fridge for a couple of hours now. Just uh, keep it cool and together. We are ready to slap this baby on. So let's do it. Open up the Traeger. Got a little light smoke going. See if we can get the meatloaf out. Too much trouble here. Basically, I want to tip it over to get it out. So I'm going to wedge my fingers down beneath the loaf on the side. And once you get it out, it comes out pretty easy. Perfect meatloaf. Set it dead center of the Traeger or your grill, whatever grill you're using. Boom, just like that, man. Now we're going to take our meat probe. We're going to insert the meat probe right in the middle, just like so. I'm not sure how long this will cook. I'll say probably at least an hour and then uh, we will see where we're at on the temp. Um, let me go ahead and turn the probe on. And it'll say right now, I don't know if you can read that, where it's like 50 something degrees. It's really cold right now. I know you can't read it, but it's really cold right now. But we will pull it when it's about 180 degrees. to our cook let's see how we're looking oh yeah we're looking awesome we're actually sitting at a temperature of 84 degrees right now so we're halfway on the temp we're gonna let this go until we hit about 180 degrees um, it's really safe to eat at 165 degrees I just like to give it a little longer so I really kind of like this to crust up more so uh, we're gonna go ahead and close her down and keep monitoring it all right guys we have been 
uh, smoking this for about four hours. So let's zoom in a little. We're gonna put our right sauce on. Man, look at that, guys. I haven't even put sauce on it, but it looks incredible. We're about 162 degrees on this. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and sauce this up with some of my right sauce, peach chipotle. Even the flies can't stay away. Meatloaf has a nice bark on it already. Nice crust on the outside. It's gonna be good. Put a little more sauce on there because I can. Now what I ended up doing here guys, um, I started out at 225 smoking and I smoked it at 225 for about three hours. The last hour here I um, I bumped the temperature up to 275 on the Traeger to kind of speed up the cooking process. I have plenty of smoke in this I can tell you now. But that looks great. So I'm gonna close it and the next time you see me we will be cutting into this. Alright guys, here's the meatloaf. When I was getting it off, it kind of split a little bit, but not too bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut into this from the side. Yeah, look at that. Nice smoke green. Go ahead and show you. Got a pretty good smoke green on it, man. Pretty impressed with that. Going in for the kill. Oh man, the um, usually when I do beef, I'm used to just doing like mesquite, a lot of mesquite. But the um, that pecan really adds to it. Um, man, those other two woods, man, they just they really add to it. It's not overly smoky. It's pretty good. Um, I'm pretty pleased with this Traeger so far. I know it's uh, not for everybody. Some people, you know, some people are traditional stick burner people, but man, I even tell those folks, try a pellet smoker. It's awesome. It really simplifies things. Um, I'll still use my Kamado, of course, but um, I'm really digging this, guys. This is incredibly delicious. So, go and try that recipe, man. <clears throat> like I said, I'll put the link down below for uh, right rub and right or and right uh, barbecue sauce because those are really killer on the meatloaf. So, anyways, y'all have a good one.